Whip It is a mishmash of well-worn, if not totally cliched, story arcs directed by first-time director Drew Barrymore that somehow, despite all those possible strikes against it, succeeds in being a really kind of touching, charming, entertaining film. It stars Juno's Ellen Page as Bliss, the small-town Texas misfit pageant queen that escapes the drudgery of Bodine life and her mother's expectations by running away every Thursday afternoon and evening to Austin, where she's joined a rough and tumble group of all-female roller derbyists, who just also so happen to be lovable losers that have come in last three years in a row. And all this could have made for the most corny, hackneyed movie of all time. But it's not. It's great. Barrymore takes her script and her cast and lets characters emerge in her film in a really traditional, oddly 1970s Hollywoodish kind of way. Well, yeah, the film is filled with gags and there's a bunch of pratfalls. The film also has a handful of really well shot, slow moving, languid scenes in which characters are just allowed to act and they're not spouting witty dialogue nonstop like a Seinfeld episode. I never really thought I would say it, but Drew Barrymore's got an eye for performance. She's never been a bad actress, but I didn't expect this from her, and I'm really, really, really pleasantly surprised. In Barrymore's film, secondary characters like best friend Pash, played by Aaliyah Shawkat, are allowed to have depth and layers, and that depth and those layers isn't arrived at by including a scene near the end of the second act where the heretofore quiet, fun-loving, comedic relief character suddenly tears the scene apart and says, I am a person too. I have feelings. Here are my motivations. The film achieves this depth of character by letting its characters have relationships that are non-standard, that are muddled, that are ambiguous, that are non-linear. It lets them have motivations that they don't fully understand themselves, let alone articulate. It's also really, really funny, and it's a perfect example of how a really good cast, a really good script, and interesting characters can transform what would otherwise be a really cliched small town rebel girl with a mean mom underdog sports story into something that's fresh and really entertaining. As a whole, though, the film tries to do a little bit too much. There's too many stories in the story, and as a result, some of them, some of the very important ones, don't have enough room to breathe, which means that there are scenes that feel kind of clunky or that arrive with not enough buildup. The only other complaint that I have is that the roller derbying itself, the action, doesn't quite live up to the same standards as the rest of the film. It's kind of not engaging and not particularly convincing. And in one scene, the climax, there's such a clear, lingering, absolutely weirdly intentional shot of a major actress's stunt double that I got really confused and actually thought that we were being introduced to a new character. It was about 10 seconds before I realized, oh, that's her stunt double, I guess. Yeah. And that's all, despite having uber stunt woman of the moment, Zoe Bell, playing one of the main roller derby girl roles. Said it. Whip It's great, it's really entertaining, it's really charming, it's really sensitive, and it's made by a director who actually cares about performance and has an eye to be able to pick it out with a camera and put it in the middle of scenes, even if those scenes are about drinking beer or fighting or being thrown into a hot tub. It serves as a really, really good counterpoint to Jennifer's Body, which came out a couple of weeks ago, which also is a teen girl frustration story that uh, goes in the exact opposite direction. So go watch Whip It, because it's really good. You'll enjoy it.